so who's showing that i mean come on how much calm do we need for us to get over this and <laughs> face other shit? Really? There's more to life. Come on. And also, <laughs> when you're having sex with some people, you're like, oh. Because sex is not a quantity thing. It's a quality thing. Yeah. I love sex. Yeah. I'm very kinky and sexual. Oh, when I, it's just that I don't open. My doors are not a taxi rank. <laughs> but when I open... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Celeste Dooley is arguably the biggest comedian in the country and she sells out week in and week out. Now, to my surprise, in an interview with David Mashabella, she revealed that going to make G's podcast helped her career a lot. Her name, Zansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zansi. If you're new to my channel, you know, you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell and you'll never miss an update. So, Zansi, see, let's had booked shows in Cape Town and her tickets were not moving, right? Now, luckily for her, the famous episode on Podcast and Chill came out the Thursday and all her weekend shows sold out. That guy sold a show for me. I was going to Cape Town when I did that show with him and I don't know if you understand, when it came out that I was going to Cape Town the following week and I had only t sold 10 tickets for three days, when it came out on the Saturday, I was sold out and on the Friday, I was full house, she told David Marshall he is so amazing which is why i wanted to work with him on the promoting of the big show now mzansi speaking about meg the podcaster received backlash for his controversial comments he made about mini lamini and exotic dancer zodwa bandu mini has been trending this week after controversial twitter blogger musa kaula accused her of allegedly cheating on quentin with edwin Sodi. now in a clip from the latest episode of podcast and chill with meg the podcaster dragged mini and Zodo Abantu to fail them, Zanzi, and said there's no difference between them. He made startling accusations against them and claimed he doesn't hate it, girls, but they must not sell people dreams. There's no difference between Mini Khamenei and Zodo Abantu. They both sell passe. One owns it, one doesn't, he said. Yikes. Now, there you have it, Zanzi. So, there are good things that come out of podcast and chill with Meg and there are those things that make us just sit back and say, whoa, Meg so ballsy. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section. You know I love to hear from you but for now you know i will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it